Well, hi ho my peeps, and welcome to lasagna soup. Um, these are the ingredients that I'm going to use in my lasagna soup. Um, chicken broth, that came from 99 cents, I mean dollar, uh, dollar Tree. This Polio Whole Milk Mozzarella came from 99 cents. Boy, talk about a steal. The lasagna, that was from Dollar Tree. Onion from the grocery store. Ricotta cheese from Trader Joe's. And then the pasta sauce and little cut up uh, garlic and tomato, garlic and olive oil tomatoes. Those came from 99 cent store. Then I found this sweet Italian style chicken sausage at Trader Joe's. Now, I found these in my stash of stuff, This um, these marinated olives from Trader Joe's. I don't know how I ended up with them. I th Oh, Grant bought these. Grant bought these. Yeah, baby. Yeah, Grant says he bought these. So, I thought this would be a really, really nice addition to this soup. So, there we go. Now, here's the funny part. So, well, heck. I think I'm going to turn this around. Okay, here's the funny part. So, I bought this. I bought the lasagna um, a long time ago. Then I lost it. Then I went to the store and I tried to find it. Couldn't find it. Came home a couple weeks later. I cleaned and it's like, yay! I can finally make this lasagna soup that I've been wanting to make for three months. <laughs> Go online, go on to YouTube, and one of my first videos that comes up in my suggested videos was a lasagna soup recipe by Jan Creason, who is my favorite YouTube cook. I love this woman, okay? If you know me, you probably know her. Well, <laughs> I was like, dang it. You shuffle your feet, you lose your seat. <laughs> so I, I messaged Jan, and I told her that story, and I said, listen, I'm going to go ahead and make my lasagna soup, and I'm not going to look at your video first. I'm going to go ahead and do it my way, and then I'm going to go see what I did wrong. So what I'll change the next time. <laughs> and I say that because Jan is a wonderful cook. Um, she's Her channel is really taking off. People are... People have discovered her, and it's just been a delight to, um, yeah, to see her just really find her stride and, you know, see how many people just love her cooking, because she is good. She does Southern cooking, home-style home Southern cooking, um, just comfort food up one side and down the other. So, anyhow watch this <laughs> then go look at um at jan's um uh, video i'm going to try to remember to link it i forget to link all the time anyhow i'll try to remember to link it under here and you can you can check out the different ways that we make lasagna soup so that's what this is about and let's get started all right i've got a couple tablespoons of olive oil warming in the bottom of my pan i've cut up my 12 ounces of this is actually fully cooked uh, Italian sausage made with chicken. If you are using a sausage or ground beef that hasn't been cooked, you're going to want to put your meat in, in first and brown it. But um, because this is already cooked, I'm just going to dump my onions and my sausage into the pan at the same time and um, cook until these onions start to get... Um, start to get a little translucent. That is looking good and smelling even better. I'm going to go ahead and cook this on a medium, medium high heat and get those, get those onions. Um, I'm not going to caramelize them, but I'm just going to cook them until they're translucent. Then the next thing we will do is add the chicken broth, and the pasta sauce and the uh, tomato. We'll get that going. And the last thing we'll do is put a little bit of extra water and we will crumble up this lasagna and cook that. 
Um, finally, you'll put I'll put the cheeses in, and that will that will be Grant's dinner. Um, like I said, I'm using 12 ounces of a pre-cooked chicken sausage, but you can use ground beef, or you can use regular Italian sausage. Um, you can use um, veggie crumbles, whatever, whatever turns you on. We will do all the spices um, towards the end, and I think what I'll be doing, of course, I'll add salt and pepper, and then I'm also going to add some basil, and I may even add a little bit of fennel too. It just depends on how how it tastes. So when we get to that point, we'll figure that out. Okay, the. Um, the sausage and onions is looking really, really good. I can smell it, that it's browning a little bit. Perfect. Now I'm going to add the liquid ingredient, which is the 32 ounce container of chicken broth. I suppose you could use veg vegetable broth if you wanted to. You could probably use water if you wanted to. But the um, chicken broth just gives it such a wonderful, rich flavor. So that's that. Now I'm going to add the four cheese pasta sauce. That's going in there. Alrighty. And now I'm putting the uh, tomatoes in. They happen to be the garlic and olive oil, but they could be plain chopped tomatoes or crushed tomatoes, whatever. Um, now we're going to go ahead and bring this back to a pretty good simmer. Yeah. I think I'm going to go ahead and rinse that into this can so I can get all the tomatoey goodness out and then I'm going to pour a full can of water into here as well um, because the <clears throat> the lasagna when you crumble that up and put it into the soup it will absorb quite a bit of water so you want to go ahead and and put the extra in now okay we need to bring this back up to a just under a boil a nice rolling simmer I added the extra water. Now I'm going to go ahead and add actually what's left in the bottom of this uh, container of basil, uh, dried basil. It's actually about a tablespoon. So that's what you're going to, that's what you're going to do. A tablespoon of dried basil. Okay, so this is a one pound box of lasagna noodles. Um, I broke up 11 of the um, noodles, which is about a half a pound. That's about eight ounces. My soup is beginning to boil. Yay. Um, or simmer pretty good. Um, now, these olives are absolutely marvelous. I tried one. They're so good. However, they do have their pits in them. So I went ahead and I cut the meat from about um, half of these olives. Um, that was about uh, four ounces of olives or so. So I'm going to reserve the rest for garnish or for later. And I've already put them, put the olives in and stirred them. So now here comes the lasagna noodles. Now I'm going to go ahead and give them a nice stir. And I'm going to turn this down just a little bit. I want a low simmer. There we go. Got it down to a low simmer. And I'm just going to let that cook for a while. Let those lasagna noodles absorb some water. I'm going to check it in about oh, five or so minutes and see if I need any additional um, um, liquid in there. I have a feeling I'm going to need some. So we'll just wait and see how, see how that looks in about five minutes. While that soup is continuing to cook, I'm going to go ahead and open up my whole milk mozzarella cheese and I'm going to cube it up, get it ready to put into the, um, the soup, and I'm going to open my container of ricotta cheese so that will be ready to dump into the soup as well. Well, that lasagna, crumbled lasagna, has been cooking for about 
12 or 15 minutes, somewhere around there. And it is just done to the al dente stage, um, which is a good place to stop cooking this soup um, because it will be warmed up again or microwaved or whatever and the, uh, the pasta will continue to get softer, you know, with each time you rewarm it. So I think this is plenty done. Now, I have this container of part skim ricotta. That whole thing is just going to go right in. Um, I'm, I'm not going to do this one-handed because I might splash myself. So what I'm going to do is just dump this in and give it a stir. Now I've got a pound of cubed up mozzarella. A lot of people will just use this as, you know, they'll dump it in after just a little bit. I mean, after they plate it up, put it in a bowl, they'll put a few of these cubes in there and call it done. But I am a big believer in overkill. So I'm going to go ahead and dump all of this mozzarella cheese in here, give the whole dang thing a stir, then we're going to give it to Grant and see what he thinks. Well, if this does not look like heaven in a pot, I don't know what does. Look at that. I just turned the fire off underneath the soup. I'm going to give it a little mix around here, get the ricotta all stirred in, and um, you know, incorporate that cubed mozzarella up into the soup as well. Um, dang, this is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I tasted it, and even though I have not put any salt and pepper into this thing, all that went in extra was the basil. I'm going to taste it again. Hmm. I don't think it needs anything. Um, Grant's not a real big fan of spicy, super spicy, so I'm not going to put any pepper or anything like that in there. I think it is just ready to rock and roll. So I'm going to bring him some and let's see what he thinks. Well, all I have to say is th this is magnificent. I mean, this is so good. I cheated and I it took a bite or two out of Gramps' bowl here um, just because I couldn't wait and because I'm hungry because I am eating my thousand calories a day. I can probably eat about maybe a half a cup of this and before I reach my, you know, my limit for the day, I'm so tempted. But I think I should probably leave it alone because... This is the sort of thing you start eating and you can't stop. At least that's the way I am. So I'm going to let this cool, then we're going to take it into ground. Well, this is ridiculous. Just to add decadence to decadence, I cubed up half an avocado and I put it in the soup along with the, you know, all that cheese and everything else. And now I do believe it's time for Grant to give it a go. Sorry, we're getting dark in here, you guys. I need to turn on the light. But let's let's see let's see Grant's face. What does Grant have to say? I think it's cheesy. It's very cheesy. Wonderful. Isn't that good? Absolutely. That's ridiculously good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I'm going to put some of that in the freezer. Mm. What about you, Otter? Would you like some, too? Put her in the freezer, too. Yeah, I'll put her in the freezer. Yeah, she would like some as well. Okay, there you go. Um, Jan, I know I came late to the party on this lasagna soup stuff, but uh turned out really good. Now I'm going to go watch your video and see what kind of tips I can steal. Talk to you guys later. Bye.